Hey there, I'm Dominique St. Pierre. This is a quick uh, video to uh, let's try the new generics in Go. So I don't really want to install the beta version of uh, 1.18, uh, so I will just run it from a Docker image. And uh, if you want to do that, you will you will still need to install some some kind of text editor and whatnot on the uh, on the VM. So this is what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'm going to install Vim quickly, just to try out the uh, the generics aspect. If you uh, if you navigate on the internet these days, you will see a lot of uh, you will see a lot of example uh, using the you know some kind of print generic print function and whatnot at start. So I want to to go with uh, with something that I would I would use kind of uh, in, in in most projects so let's let's try to have a, a min function to find the minimum uh, the minimum value of uh, numbers in slice so we will start by declaring a numbers interface so usually what you will want to do for your generic is to have an interface to add some constraint on your generic type. So for our example, I, I would like to have int and float uh, being uh, capable of uh, find, finding the, the minimum value of a slice of int and slice of uh, float. So in the past, uh, without generics, we will need to create lots of function accepting a slice of type int a slice of type in six uh, in 16 32 and, and whatnot so the generic version we can use the type t with our interface numbers so this will indicate that our type t must be satisfied by the interface so we we could have function in our interface as well functions plural or function singular so as long as you are satisfying this interface you you will be able to call this generic function so now we will receive d an, an array of that type so it could be an int and in 32 and in 64 or float 60 64 and we will return the element that we find in the uh, in a boolean indicating if you know if we found something or not so if our our list is is empty then well there, there's not much to to do to do here so we will just return uh, the ok flag will be false by default otherwise let's initialize the first uh, you know let's take the element and say that it is actually the minimum of our list and now let's range over all of the remainings and we will just compare so by using this v lower than lm here, we are telling the compiler that we we are waiting for a comparable types. So that's why the interface is including the ints and and you know if we were to include other type like any, you you will see lots of any. Uh, any will you know it, it just means any types and the slice and map are not comparable so you need to add constraint to your to your generics i i think it it really helps to understand especially for other devel developers uh that that will come after you um so in here we are just declaring two lists one for uh, int and one for float 64 and we will be able to call the we will be able to call the, our min function uh, on those two types. Uh, and like, like I was saying, yes, the, the advantage is, is that, well, that would have been, you know, maybe five repetition of, of this function if, if, we, if, if, it's, if, if it would not be generics. So let's just print out our uh, findings here. There's a... This thing, you know, this example. Of of course, there there will probably be a uh, a built-in library for uh, 
for the slice you know all all the all the function that that you would like to use like sum or contains and and whatnot so i'm i'm not saying that all developers will will have to implement those it will it will certainly be there uh, i'm just trying to play with with generics and to me a good example is is working on on slice um I did the mistake uh, on the uh, on the return type. Uh, it's uh, yeah, I misplaced the bool and the variable name uh, in the in the call. Um, what I was saying. So yeah. So basically, basically, it it it's a it's a simple example that uh, just uh, just try to showcase a little bit what uh, we will be able to do with uh, with the generics and uh, you can imagine that this this uh, numbers interface could be could be lots of things so it could have a a function for example so in your in your implementation uh, you could you could you could call this function and it, it would it would work for for the types that uh, that you are that that you are satisfying this uh, this interface. So this this is what I like about the Go implementation, is that we are continuing our you know our path with interface and uh, and and this this is interesting to me because it seems to be uh, I, I'm not saying that that I will use generics each day. It's not it's not that at all. But it's another tool in your in your toolbox, and I think I I can I can think of at least a a dozen of times since I am writing Go uh, in, in the last like five six years that I would love to have generics. So so yeah, as we can see, we found the the minimum in here. So that's a, that's a quick overview of the of the generics.